All right, hey guys, happy Monday. It is Miss Lastly and Miss Markert, and we are here to do our review week for matrices. So this is gonna be day 16, and we are just going to be going over um, some basic matrices, properties, and operations. This should be completely a review. This is just reviewing week one of what we've covered during matrices. So if this video isn't enough of a review, you can always go back and watch our videos from week one, but hopefully this will be fine. And then just remember everything this week is just extra practice. Um, nothing new is happening this week. We're just reviewing for three days, doing a mixed review on Thursday, our last live stream on Thursday, and then um, your final mandatory checkpoint, I guess, on Friday. Uh, yeah, so I will turn over to Miss Marker. Sorry, it's not a normal video. We're doing this on Microsoft Teams. We had a little bit of technical difficulties this morning, so just bear with us. If it's weird, we're sorry. I don't even know if you can see our faces in the video. You might just be able to hear our voices, so just go with it, guys. No big deal. It's just a review week, so it's not that serious. All right, so I'm turning it over to Miss Marker so she can kind of walk you guys through what we've got going on here. Sounds good. Also, sorry guys, there's a weed eater outside my house. And so if you hear that in the background, that's what that is. Sorry. Um, okay, so we're just gonna go over um, the basic properties of a matrix and then um, operations and stuff. I kind of pulled the key points from each lesson. Um, and then I'm not gonna do any examples. This should all be review and you've used these throughout um, our unit. So I'm gonna let you guys um, work through the homework tonight on your own. If you need examples, there's plenty online. And then we also did several um, in other videos. So go check those out if you would like more examples. Okay, so for matrix properties, um, just remember that a matrix is just an array of data. Of data. Remember that element is just an object in your matrix. And you denote them with whatever letter your matrix is named by and then subscript um, your two little numbers. And remember that that first number is row, the second number is column. And then order of your matrix is how we classify matrices. So classification of matrices. Um, and then remember that these go also row by column. So an example would be again, two by three matrix. And then the last thing we talked about that day was square matrices. And just like the definition of a square, this is just same number of rows and columns. So for matrix operations, this included adding, subtracting, and scalar multiplication, subtracting. Um, and for these ones, we had three key points. So we had two key points for adding and subtracting and then one key point for scalar multiplication. So I'm gonna go over those again. Um, and then hopefully this is again, review for you guys. Remember that you can do these on your calculator if you want. I would suggest for this one, maybe just practice doing it by hand. Um, you're more than welcome to check your answers on your calculator or on the answer key if you want. Um, but for this one, I would recommend just doing it by hand um, just so you get some practice with it. But, okay, so for adding and subtracting, subtracting, two things have to be true. So we have to have um, matrices of the same order because you can only add or subtract matrices of the same order. So like matrix two by three, 
and a matrix that's also two by three matrix the same order and then you add or subtract corresponding elements so for example if we have matrix a we would have matrix a minus matrix matrix b we would subtract element A11 minus B11. Um, and then for scalar multiplication, remember that a scalar is just a number outside. So you're going to have something that looks like this, so three, and then whatever matrix you have. And remember that that um, number outside or that scalar gets multiplied to every element in your matrix. So scalar gets multiplied to so this would end up looking like three times whatever you have, but to every element in your matrix. Okay, and then for multiplying matrices together, um, remember that if we have A equals a two by three matrix and B equals a three by two matrix, and we're multiplying these together, we're gonna have two by three, times three by two. Remember that um, these two numbers inside the box have to be the same for them to be able to be multiplied together. So you have to have the same number, so uh, number of columns of a have to be equal to the same the number of rows in uh, matrix B. And then the final key point for multiplying matrices together is that your solution matrix um, will end up being a for this example a two by two matrix. So you take the outside two numbers here. And that is the order of your solution matrix. So that's number of rows of A by the number of columns of B. Um, and then just remember, so if we have, let's see, two by three, so let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, times a three by two, so. Nope, I did that wrong, sorry guys. Switch that. Um, remember that you multiply row by column. So we're gonna go um, row by column. So like this. And I know that yellow highlighter on that column is hard to see. One note's weird with their highlighters. It's annoying. Um, so you're going to have 1 times 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 5. And then whatever that is um, is going to end up being your first element in your matrix, your second, your solution matrix. And then you just repeat that. So you're going to have this one by this one, this one by this one, and then um, this one by this one. Um, so whatever you have to do to keep track of it, um, again, you can do this in your calculator. I would recommend just for the practice of it, doing it by hand today. Um, but whatever is most comfortable. And then um, that's where your answers should end up.
Cool. I think that's all I have for you guys, um, unless Miss Leslie has anything to add for you. No, that's it. Um, so yeah, guys, hopefully that was a good review. Um, I know the video might have been a little weird. I don't know what you guys can see. I guess I'll figure it out once um, I look at the recording. But anyways, hopefully it was a good review. Just basic matrix operations and multiplying matrices together. Remember, most of the ones that we're dealing with are going to be smaller matrices. Uh, we're not going to give you guys anything that's going to be too big. So like Ms. Markert said, if you can't do them by hand, go ahead and do them by hand. Um, but again, if you want to check your answers using your calculator, that's fine. Um, I find that when you're doing basic operations like this, you make less mistakes when you do it by hand than you do when you put it into the calculator because there is so much room for error when you're typing those matrices into the calculator. Um, but whatever you feel comfortable with, uh, the checkpoint is going to be a normal checkpoint. So yes, you're going to have your calculator the whole time. So it's whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, things that are kind of easy like this, I would recommend doing by hand, especially because like Miss Margaret said, you're getting the extra practice. But again, it's up to you. All right, but that is all we have for today. So I hope you guys thought this was a helpful video. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.